Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And now in tonight's episode, we're going to look at some of our favorite free campsites that we found in the past two and a half years on the road. Not just boondocking, but even some free campgrounds. So stay tuned. Now, many of the sites that we'll share in this episode are boondocking, as that's our preference while camping. However, we'll also share some absolutely first-rate free campgrounds that we found throughout our travels as well. Now, for each campsite that we mention and feature in this video, we will mention and link to, down in the video description below, the original episode of Grand Adventure in which each of these sites first appeared. There you can find out a lot more information about each campsite or campground, even right down to a Google Maps pin of exactly where we stayed. Many of the best free spots we've camped at are located just outside of some of our nation's most popular national parks. One such popular park is Zion National Park in southern Utah. There are a number of places to camp on U.S. Bureau of Land Management, or BLM land, just outside of Zion. One such spot that we like to frequent is along Sheep Ridge Road in the tiny town of Virgin, just west of the park's main entrance. We camp along Sheep Ridge Road in our episodes 11 and 29. If you're headed for the badlands of western South Dakota, there's prime free boondocking available just south of Wall in the Buffalo National Grassland, just outside the gate to Badlands National Park. How close is it? That's the park entrance, as seen from our campsite. We bring you to the Badlands in our episode 43. Our free campsite at the BLM's Carbella Recreation Area in episode 46 was just north of the northwestern entrance to Yellowstone National Park in Gardner, Montana. Our waterfront campsite in Island Park, Idaho from our episode 109 was just 30 minutes from West Yellowstone.
Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park is immediately adjacent to Yellowstone. If you want to make your camp closer to Grand Teton, you can't do better than Shadow Mountain, which we visited in episode 72. Mesa Verde National Park is a wonder of prehistoric cliff dwellings in southwestern Colorado. When we visit Mesa Verde, we love to boondock in the National Forest along Madden Peak Road as we did in episode 68. Moab, Utah is home to two of Utah's Mighty Five National Parks, Arches and Canyonlands. Our free campsite at Dalton Wells in episode 97 was less than 15 minutes to the main entrance of Arches and less than double that to Canyonlands. Natural beauty across the American West is hardly limited to the national parks, however. In our very early episode two, we boondocked on BOM land in one of our favorite locations ever, Valley of the Gods. When people think of Las Vegas, they naturally think of the casinos lining the Strip. But only 45 minutes away, you can find peace and solitude on the shores of Lake Mead, as we did way back in Episode 5. about this free campsite in Idaho's Sawtooth National Recreation Area more than perhaps any other. 
We featured it in our episode 19 from Sun Valley. When we're camping close to our home in Salt Lake City, Heber Mountain is one of our favorite nearby getaways. We share several campsites in the massive Heber Mountain area in our episode 27. The Bighorn Mountains are one of Wyoming's many seldom visited mountain ranges and are an obvious stop off for anyone traveling the Yellowstone from the east. We camp for free in Bighorn National Forest in our episode 44. Crested Butte is one of our favorite midsummer Colorado camping destinations. We like to camp in the National Forest high in Washington Gulch, as we did while visiting Crested Butte in our episodes 58 and 59. Not far from Crested Butte, there's prime free national forest boondocking with a view in Twin Lakes, in the shadow of Colorado's highest summit, where we spent a few days in our episode 60. But not all free camping is restricted to boondocking. Navajo National Monument in northeastern Arizona offers two dry campgrounds completely free of charge. We stopped off at the Monument's Canyon View Campground in our episode 67.
The BLM maintains a number of dry campgrounds that are free to use, including this wonderful little gem just outside of Farmington, New Mexico, where we stayed in our episode 118. You can even find free electric hookups at Colorado's San Luis State Wildlife Area, just 10 minutes from the Great Sand Dunes National Park. We stayed here in our episode 62. Silverton is another of our favorite Colorado summertime getaways. When in Silverton, we stay at the free Sultan and Anvil camping areas just three miles outside of town and maintained by the National Forest Service. This was our camp for our Million Dollar Highway episode number 69. And who wouldn't adore this waterfront peninsula campsite within Wyoming's Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area from our episode 75. Californians take heart, there's plenty of terrific free camping in your state as well. We loved our solitude among the Joshua trees of Mojave National Preserve as we filmed our episode 81. Grand Staircase Escalante is a little traffic national monument in southern Utah. While many RV campers gravitate to the state's national parks, we settled down in episode 104 for a little peace and quiet smack dab between two of those national parks.
Bears Ears is Utah's newest national monument and is a treasure trove of ancient Puebloan cliff dwellings. There's lots of legal boondocking within the national monument itself, like this special spot that we scored in our episode 101. And as long as we're discussing Southern Utah, we'd be remiss if we failed to mention Wild Horse Mesa, one of our regular go-to spots on BLM land just outside of Goblin Valley, one of Utah's most popular state parks. We most recently visited the region in our episode 102. We've already showed you Green River Lakes in northwestern Wyoming's Wind River Mountains several times, but this campsite along the Green River deserves mention once again. We first shared this spot in our episode 108. Finally, while the Rocky Mountains and Intermountain West states offer the most opportunities for free boondocking, such opportunities aren't limited to those regions. If you'd like to get your feet wet, there's nothing like camping right on the beach in Padre Island National Seashore in Texas, as we did in episode 122. Now you can use an online directory like Campendium to find free places to camp. However, by going to places that have already been widely publicized, you increase the odds that you're going to be disappointed when you show up and find that campsite already occupied. For that reason, we encourage our grand adventurers to learn how to find their own free boondocking campsites. It takes a little bit of time and effort but with online resources available, it's really not that hard a process to do. 
and we share exactly how we find our own free campsites in our very early episode six, entitled Boondocking 101. If you'd like the education, we'll put a link right here on the screen so you can go back and check out episode six. Now, we hope that this episode has helped you in planning your own grand adventures. If you're not yet a grand adventurer, make sure you smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. Now, we always love to hear from you in the comments section right down below each video. We would be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. And perhaps most importantly, it's extremely important to us. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you then.